NVIDIA broadcast can now deep fake your eyes to me. Oh my God. To make you look at the camera. Oh, that is wild. So I'm, I'm looking, but I'm not looking well. Yeah. yeah. Here's a demo of it. I'm looking, but I'm not looking. Get out of here. I have two cameras which are roughly the same horizontal. Oh process. my goodness. Well. The software keeps me looking straight at the camera, which I'm doing now physically in the real world. Okay. Move my eyes to the side. Uh, a little bit. Yeah, you can kind of see the the eyes snapping into place. Look side to side. But it's only if it's like really right ridiculous now. movements it's that it's not able to track side. it. And if I take my glasses but if it's really subtle, looking like looking at like... Well, okay, this this has brought something up for me. Pretty convincing, eh? That I constantly pay attention to. Especially with a webcam. Which is... Or an iPhone. When somebody's recording a video and they're looking at the monitor instead of the lens. Yeah, yeah. They're recording a video and they're looking to the side. They're looking at themselves, basically. Mm -hmm. And I don't know what it is, why that's so captivating. I understand you want to frame yourself up, but then after, so, after that you have the lens. Like, I'm going to... Will, I'm going to look into the lens right now. You see, like, you can... You know the difference when you're recording. Mm -hmm. Like, there's this... Which camera do you want me to look at? The far one? Yeah, the far one. Okay, so this is right into the lens. This is if I was looking at a screen attached to the camera. That's pretty close. Screen attached to the camera? It's lens. hard to tell. It's hard to tell, man. Well, that's because we're on a really long lens. <laughs> okay, yeah. We're on a really long lens, but most people aren't vlogging from that range. But anyway, obviously the benefit here is people who want to procrastinate. They want to be on the conference and pretend they're paying attention, but really they're or, like... Uh, yeah, looking that, looking like down a, and doing something else. Apology video or something. Oh my like god! <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. Well, I that's know. what it's meant. Well, I wonder about the micro movements while reading a script. I guess that those are actually probably really easy to fix. Mm. Wow! Nvidia suggests that eye contact will try to make your simulated eyes match the color of your real ones, and there's even a disconnect feature in case you look too far away, so it doesn't. Try to mimic when <laughs> you turn your head. Your eyes are still on the side of your head. Yeah, that is um I, I think this is a pretty cool technology. I think people will actually use it. And I like the fact that they kept it relatively subtle. Mm -hmm. Like only if you're slightly looking off. Um but the snapping of the eyes. Yeah, they, they, they it's it's a little there is a little bit of a harshness at moments right there, but it's it's not yeah, there and there's a little wobble to it sometimes too. Yeah. I mean, it's not exactly perfect, but in most cases, I think it's probably superior to not having any eye contact. But apparently, Apple's done it before on FaceTime. It's called attention correction. Wow, I've never and heard Microsoft of this stuff. Microsoft has it as well. Um, that was in FaceTime in 2018. In yeah. the current versions of iOS, it's labeled as eye contact in settings for FaceTime. Wow. All right. Well. But I never knew it. Give that a cry. No, I never heard about it either. Yeah. I, I think it's probably less useful on the f on the phone on FaceTime than it is on like a video conferencing app sure. or something on desktop. Yeah. Anyway.